Ben Hogan, generally recognized to have one of the greatest purest swings in golf. A few years ago, I was honored to sit down with this true legend and somewhat recluse. When you think back to your era, the 40s and 50s, and being a pro golfer, no private jets, no courtesy cars, totally different than now. Well, there were good memories for me, even though I went broke twice and had to come back and start over again. But I enjoyed every minute of it and the working at it uh, uh, day and night. For I used to uh, practice uh, every day and I'd get up five and six hours before my starting time. And I'd practice every shot in golf on the practice tee and the putting green and chip and, and uh, whatnot. And I'd do the same thing when I got home in the room at night. The story goes that one of your early introductions to golf was actually caddying. All this after hiking seven miles for 65 cents a bag. I sold newspapers before I caddied. And I caddied uh, oh, when I was about 12 years old. Uh, and I, I enjoyed that. And uh, I finally learned how to swing a golf club. And at that time, I was left-handed. It, it had to switch from left-handed to right-handed. I'm right-handed now. I do everything right-handed. Uh, but it, it trains you. And I enjoyed the training because I had the time. I didn't have the money, and I had to get the money. Then later on is when I started in 1931 as a golf professional. I used to shine clubs and work in a golf shop. Uh, and I would get home about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning on weekends after shining all the, all the clubs for the fellows that might want to come out the next day. It's a, it's a great schooling thing. It's a nice thing to have in your life because you can cope with a lot of other things if you can cope with playing golf. You can cope with any kind of a situation business or funerals or sadness, uh, bad health, happiness, everything.